Oh, hello. My name is Adam Smith, calling from NobelPrize.org. Well, many, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, yes, uh, I, I was not expecting it at all. Uh, it was really a surprise. <laughs> so, of course, the, uh, the first question is, how did the news reach you? I was called this morning uh, by uh, a committee and uh, they congratulated me uh, to win this prize together with Caroline Petosi, who I know from a very long time ago already, and uh, also Barry Sharpless, who I visited a couple of times. And uh, I know both of those uh, very well. Mm, indeed. How nice. Um, and um, your first action or reaction on hearing the news? It was just total surprise, uh, and uh, I, I, you know, uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of research that uh, goes by, which are uh, is very exciting, and uh, sometimes you just, by serendipity, have an orange falling into your turban, and uh, you have a, a very nice idea that uh, can make uh, a lot of people have an easier life in their research or even in the, you know, in the public. Mm. And that's what happened. And that's what happened to, uh, to me. So this was a, a very serendipitous uh, discovery that we did uh, by analyzing our results. We found that there was something strange going on and uh, this was very useful. Indeed. Uh, yes. I mean, click chemistry is transforming um, yes. the, the ease of doing reactions. Once you have a completely new uh, organic reaction that can completely con uh, change the field, and that's what happened in this case. Isn't it marvellous the way that, um, despite all the work that goes in to organic chemistry, new organic reactions keep appearing? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because uh, the reality is much more complex that we as chemists are able to imagine, and new things come up all the time. And will forever. I think that there's uh, no way we will ever uh, know everything. And uh, the complexity of uh, organic chemistry, also reflected in complexity of life, uh, is very, very uh, high. Uh, and we are only uh, scratching, uh, the, you know, the beginning of our understanding of, of organic chemistry. I think. How marvelous to explore such an unknown universe. Is, is, that, yes. is that what drives you when you go into the lab each morning? Yes, actually it is. Uh, I'm working on something that I find is very exciting at the moment. Uh, also new stuff. And uh, I think that uh, everyone who is interested in chemistry and works uh, will be awarded because it is such an interesting field. Uh, it is actually describing our re reality. Hmm. And uh, that is why it's uh, so important with chemistry as well. That's a very nice point, because people in general tend to view chemistry, uh, who are not involved in it, a little bit negatively sometimes. They worry about the effect of chemicals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but to describe it as um, exploring our reality is, is it puts an entirely different slant on it. Yes, and it is actually, because, uh, I mean, there are two really fundamental sciences, and that is chemistry and physics, uh, because chemistry and physics both describe everything that happens everywhere, uh, whereas the other uh, science fields like biology and so on is very, very interesting, and it's central to our understanding of life and our own lives as well, but it's not a fundamental understanding of reality as it is uh, with chemistry. Mm. And when you developed what the press release for the, this prize describes as the jewel in the crown of uh, uh, click chemistry, the copper catalyzed azide alkyne cycloaddition, um, uh, and you co discovered that with Barry Sharpless, but it working independently, um, did you yeah. realize that this was an absolutely groundbreaking discovery? Yes, because we did some reactions which were not supposed to uh, be able to happen. And uh, so, for example, we took very reactive acid chlorides and reacted uh, then uh, those which had acides in them and reacted those with alkynes without touching the acid chlorides, which is a very reactive uh, functionality. So we immediately saw that this was completely orthogonal to other chemistries and would have a, a huge potential. And one of the things that makes click chemistry so special is that it can happen while 
other reactive groups are around, but they're just unaffected by this. Yes, and I should in that uh, regard also mention the PhD student, Christian Tone, who worked on this project and was uh, very much involved in the discovery as well. Hmm. Thank you. What would you say to young people contemplating chemistry as a career? I would say it's a, it's a very interesting field uh, because it has a lot of existentialism uh, in it. So understanding how everything works is a, a very challenging but also a very rewarding experience. It's very nice. Well, let's hope this prize encourages yet more people to enter the field. It's very encouraging for everybody that it's a prize that unites male and female laureates. Yes, yes, yes. That's very nice. I know Carolyn for a very long time, and uh, she is a fantastic researcher. What would you say makes her special as a researcher? She has such a broad knowledge of both chemistry and biology and knows how to you know, utilize her chemical knowledge uh, in a very exquisite way in understanding biology. Mm. That, that fundamental base of understanding is deeply important, isn't it? Yeah. It's been a huge pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you very much. Adam, I'll talk with you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. If you enjoyed this moment, we have another special episode you won't want to miss on Nobel Prize origin stories. We present clips of laureates recalling formative moments and Adam explores the unexpected factors that can shape the lives and careers of these great minds. Find it on Acast or wherever you listen to podcasts.